Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Northeast Heritage Music Camp. Actually, Northeast Heritage Music Camp's Alt Camp, the first and hopefully only. But we really appreciate your being here. Tonight is the first of three nightly faculty concerts. And tonight, our, our musicians are Jan Falke, Lisa Ornstein, and Jeremiah McLean. Oops, I forgot my microphone. Anyway, so I hope you enjoy the concert. Sit back and get ready for some really wonderful music. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for, for just keeping the hope alive, the spirit alive of Northeast Heritage. We really appreciate it. We couldn't do it without you. We couldn't do it without our wonderful faculty. And it's just a lovely team support. We're family. So on with the show. Hello, hello. I think I'm on with the show. Uh, I'm Jan Falke. I'm the first instructor to be part of this instructor concert for the Northeast Heritage Music Camp. Uh, really one of the finest camp around. Uh, we're all sad it's not happening, but so, so grateful for um, all the work that the organizers have done to make this happen. And also you, you campers who just are absolute troopers and decide to keep the camp up by, by attending the workshop and checking out this concert. Uh, I love this moment at camp. This usually happens after dinner. Um, whoever has been there have heard of that camp. The food is absolutely a highlight of this, this camp. It's amazing. Uh, we just had this big dinner. We're all digesting. Uh, maybe we met another instructor, rehearsed uh, for one minute for a three minute song and up we're on stage and play. And it's, it's, it's super fun. So we're not at camp. There's no, uh, there's no popcorn machine in the back or the quiet, the plick pluck of a ping pong game played uh, sneakily behind the performers. But uh, it's something else. I'll, um, I'll do some songs. Uh, we're not there at camp, so we don't have these good things, but uh, you're in my uh, home office and there's really some kind of extension of, of all the music that's in my head is projected on the walls. There's a whole wall of CDs here and uh, instruments over there. And most of all, the, the treasure, all my, my books of treasures of, of old song that I love to work on. So uh, the song I'm, I'm about to do now is from a book called Les Vieilles Chansons de Nouvelle France. Uh, old songs from New France, and it's a surreal tale called La, La Bie de Plume, the, the suit made out of feathers. In this song, uh, the, 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 the character is a musician, and he thinks that he'll be so successful uh, as a musician if he wears this suit made out of feathers, and he goes everywhere, and it starts pretty well. Uh, the ladies are very impressed, and he gets uh, the invitation to the noble castle uh, it gets a little weird but but still he's game because some some, some young girls think he's a parrot and she, she has him in her house and feed him every day so he thinks it's a good deal and it ends uh not as good he's reconsidering his career change when he's uh, spotted by some hunters who think he's a exotic fowl so there you go la bie de plume my version of la bie de plume Je me suis habillé en plume pour passer ma vie à chanter. Mon habit m'a fait espérer qu'un jour j'en ferais ma fortune. Je me réjouis dans mon cœur d'un habit d'une si belle couleur. Un jour m'en allant dans la ville. Dans mon chemin j'ai rencontré Dans mon chemin j'ai rencontré Une quantité de jolies filles Qui se disaient les unes aux autres Je veux cet oiseau dans mon château
et qui me prend pour un perroquet. Dites à sa mère en secret, je voudrais cet oiseau dans ma cage. Je le nourrirai soir et matin, toute l'année m'en coûterait rien. En promenant au vert bocage, là j'ai manqué d'être tué. Par un chasseur mal avisé, m'a pris pour un oiseau sauvage. J'aurais voulu pour santé que mon habit eût été foutu. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Um, well, like I said, one of the pleasures of this instructor concert is to play with other instructors. And I have to say the lineup of this camp uh, has been one of the most solid lineup I've been part of. A lot of my all time musical heroes are part of it. And like I said, we get together, we, we put a little set of tunes. I have great memories of playing just a very impromptu guitar duet with uh, David Surratt or play a quick tune with, with Lisa. And it's so fantastic. So. We, we can't do that here, but I, I have a special guest here, uh, if you will. He's, he has um, here three, three legs. It's a three-legged character um, on a tripod with uh, some Northeast Heritage merch uh, hat here. And really, who, who this gentleman is, um, um, I call him uh, Nahamka Bob. Uh, Nahamka Bob. I think it sounds good, and uh, Nahamka is the well-known official way to call this camp. And he's a great foot tapper. Very here, listen. And very flexible. He can tap very fast if you want. Um, it's not. Or very slowly, here. Right, it's fantastic. Uh, well, I'll, I'll go about about here, and we'll have a little duet uh, with my foot tapper here. Uh, I'll just play a few few fiddle tunes. See uh, if you can name them. Uh, maybe if you're listening on Facebook, uh, oh yeah, Facebook or YouTube, just uh, r r write down the name of the tune if uh, if you get them. Uh, some fiddle tunes played on the guitar. All right, Bob, you good? Yep. Okay. <laughs>
Very well done. Um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Um, here, I'll do something uh, a little different for you now. Uh, it's not a traditional song, but it's it definitely a song from Quebec, and it's a, a love song, really, for for Montreal, for Quebec, and for for the Quebec winter and the cold. And this this I've been singing for this song for myself, and it's been quite refreshing. Maybe it's the closest thing I have to a to an air conditioning unit these days is to sing this beautiful song. It was uh, recorded by a, a, a pop star in Quebec um, called Robert Charlebois. I don't know if you ever heard of Robert Charlebois. Um, great guy. He, he sang all, all through the, the 60s, 70s and 80s and, and still, still active. Very prolific composer, very f famous guy. Uh, and it's a song I always love. And, and it's really it's about something he wrote when he was in the United States, when he was, I think, in California and, and, and kind of thinking of going back to Montreal. And it's, it says, Je reviendrai à Montréal dans un grand Boeing bleu de mer. I will come back to Montreal in a big Boeing airplane, blue like the sea. And it's, it's a beautiful text about um, a love song about Montreal, something I feel now that the travels are a little harder. I'm, I'm in the Boston area and it's, I can't just go on a whim up to Montreal. And also, uh, hopefully, this will refresh you a tiny bit. It has beautiful chord. That's another reason I like this song. I love chords. Uh, we'll talk about chords in my guitar workshop on Wednesday. But uh, there you go. By the way, the last fiddle tune I played is Issoudun, the tune we'll work on together on Wednesday. But uh, here, this is Je reviendrai à Montréal. Very first time I performed this in front of anybody. <laughs> Je reviendrai à Montréal Dans un grand Boeing bleu de mer J'ai besoin de revoir l'hiver Et ses aurores boréales J'ai besoin de cette lumière Descendu droit du Labrador Et qui fait neiger sur l'hiver Des roses bleues, des roses d'or De me revoir ce lac étrange Oh, let's do that one again Dans le silence de l'hiver Je veux revoir ce lac étrange Entre le cristal et le verre Où viennent se poser les anges Je reviendrai à Montréal Écouter le vent de la mer Se briser comme un grand cheval Sur les grands parts blancs de l'hiver Je veux revoir le long des heures Des rues qui n'en finissent pas Qui vont jusqu'au bout de l'hiver Sans qu'il y ait trace de pas J'ai besoin de sentir le froid Mourir au fond de chaque pierre Et rejaillir au bord des toits Comme des glaçons de bonbons clairs 
reviendrai à Montréal Dans un grand Boeing bleu de mer Je reviendrai à Montréal Me marier avec l'hiver Me marier avec l'hiver Voilà, merci beaucoup. Hope you enjoyed that uh, little um, uh, ballad, kind of pop ballad from Quebec that I, I love, and, and especially these days in the warm United States where I am now, dreaming of a cold winter in Montreal. Um, I'll, I'll finish with one last number. Uh, thanks again. Um, Cynthia for hosting this concert in the back. Uh, there's a there's a whole um, backstage that you may not see if you're watching the concert, but there's Rose, then there's Oliver who are doing the technical support. Thank you guys. And there's also Lisa Ornstein who's eagerly waiting to play uh, as well as Jeremiah McLean that you'll hear later. So thanks so much for listening. Um, long live this beautiful uh, Northeast Heritage Music Camp. I'll finish with one song. Here I have the other book where it's from. Uh, it's such a, I'm a, I'm a geek of old book. This is a Journal of American Folklore, 1954 issue, April to June. Um, and it has a great article about the very first um, collection of Quebec song that were, that were written down and collected in um, around the 18... 20s uh, by this guy Edward Ermatinger and it's uh, he, he was an Englishman uh, very scholarly guy who studied Latin it says in English and French and music but he then decided to go and work for the Hudson Bay Company and uh, work with the, the French Canadian voyageur and he because of, of, of his education and he just had this great idea of notating the, 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 the melodies and all the words. So there's about a dozen a song. This is the very first collection of song and uh, it's so interesting to dive in. So I'll, I'll do one of these that I've just been starting to work on um, uh, my version of this song. So uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, I mixed it with a fiddle tune that uh, I'm sure uh, Lisa knows and she would have I would have loved her to play it with me if she was around but it's a uh, Ril de Sorel from uh, Isidore uh, Soucy's repertoire and uh, he recorded it it's a beautiful quirky little tune so there you go the song is Le Rossignol y chante Beau falluron, madame. 
de nos guéfalures en main dans des Pas plus chargé de fleurs que ton carnet d'amour Faudrait qu'un petit vent pour faire voler tes fleurs Beau faluron, madon de nos guéfalurons Faudrait qu'un bel amant pour avoir tes faveurs, pour avoir tes faveurs, faudrait qu'un voyageur pour y gagner ton cœur. Merci. Thank you so much for listening and uh, enjoy the rest of the concert. Have a great camp, everyone. Did I have everything on mute? <laughs> Am I, do I need to repeat what I said? Yeah, you're live now, go. <laughs> oh dear, I had my best performance before when I was muted. Anyway, thank you, <laughs> thank you very much, Jan Falke, and special thanks to Nahum Kebab. You're, you, you, you beat like a heart. Anyway. Next up, we have Lisa Ornstein, all the way from the West Coast, our fiddle instructor for the Quebecois music. Um, Lisa has been with us for several years now. Like everyone else, we're so pleased to have her. So Lisa, take it away. Hi, everyone. Um... It's great to be with you. Oh gosh, uh, that was so lovely to hear Jan playing and singing. Oh, does my heart good. I'm sure it did your heart good too. Um, so, oh golly, it's very, um, it's very unusual to be sitting in my, my kitchen here at home, uh, instead of being in the big dining hall, I guess you guys are all feeling the same thing. But we're all together in spirit, and um, there's so much spirit in this camp, so I'm just feeling it right now. Um, so I'm going to start out by uh, playing a set of tunes which I'm calling the Pause Button Trio. Uh, so, you know, it's like the bear who goes into the bar and sits down at the bar and he says, um, I'd like a beer. And the bartender says, why the long pause? So this is a trio of tunes that has pauses in them or pauses in them. 
It's got both. Um, and the first two tunes are actually parts of the Lancers Quadrille from two neighboring villages. Uh, the first village is uh, Lac Saint-Charles, and it's from the Verette family repertory. And then um, if you would go over the mountain, uh, the next village over would be uh, Valcartier. And so we're going to play, I'll play uh, uh, um, the Lancers. Uh, this is the third part of the Lancers, which in French is called uh, Le Grand Salut. Uh, the the great bow um, in Valcarte they just called it the bow um, and then I'm going to finish up with um, a tune that I played last night that um, I previewed last night from um, Harry Potter um, hashtag I love Harry Potter I keep looking for that online but for some reason when I look at that they've got like Potter is not spelled right so I'm, I'm working on getting that taken care of, but I love Harry Potter and um, I've taught some of his tunes at camp. So here we go with pause button reel or pause button trio. <laughs>
So. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, the I'm going to play a set now of tunes. Uh, we're going to uh, head east um, and go right to the uh, tip of the Gaspe Peninsula uh, to the little town of Douglastown. And um, I think it was last year that I taught a version of The Devil's Dream from Erskine Morris. Erskine Morris, a great fiddle player. Um, and um, this year, I'm going to be teaching the two first tunes that I'll be playing in this set. And I'm going to close out with a tune from Erskine Morris that I just learned rather recently that didn't have a name. Uh, the first two tunes, it's um, uh, Murphy Reel and Grandmother's Reel. And then the last tune, I'm calling the Dovetail Reel because it's one of those tunes where the first part of the tune kind of folds into the second part of the tune rather seamlessly. Um, and um, this is, I love this repertory from Mr. Morris. It's, it's so reflective of that part of Quebec. It's really when you're, you're going around the Gaspé Peninsula, you just get um, sort of past the northern tip as you're going around. And that is the part of Quebec where sort of Quebec and Acadie are meeting up. And you can so beautifully hear that blend um, in Mr. Morris's playing. So here we go. And uh, I'm, I'm really sorry, I, I do not have a, a num kebab. I, I'm feeling kind of sad about that. I, I, just, I just have my feet. It's pretty low tech. But I'm, I, I'm just going to leave the gadgetry to our master of gadgetry, Mr. Falke.
Okay, so <laughs> thanks so much. All right, I'm gonna switch fiddles here. Okay, so um, also I live uh, not far from uh, the Joint Base Lewis McCord, and every once in a while we get these flyovers, so that's, you may be hearing that. Okay, so um, this next set of tunes um, are from Louis Pitou Boudreau. And uh, the first two of them are a kind of a suite that he would call um, La, Gig La Giga Mede. And uh, Mede was Mede Gagné, who was a member of the Boudreau family and who was a really great step dancer. And uh, this was his favorite tune for step dancing. And um, it's actually a rather unusual version of an Irish slip jig called um, the Fox Hunter's Jig. Um, and uh, it's interesting because there's not all that many versions of the Fox Hunter's Jig uh, in Quebec. Um, but I got to say that um, there's a, a wonderful imagination at work in the reimagining uh, of Fox Hunter's Jig in the slip jig um, and in the hands of Louis Pitou Boudreau's family and also um, Edouard Richard is another one who plays that tune uh, which he called La Rachoudin which was his way of saying the Irish wedding um, so and then I'm going to top it off with uh, a tune that uh, Louis Pitou called La, La La Rue de ma tante Lydiane, the real for his aunt Lydiane, who loved that tune. So here we go.
Okay, so I've got one more short, short tune to play here. And uh, we'll just see how, how good my memory is because I made it up on Saturday. Um, I was dreaming about camp, daydreaming about camp. And one of the things that I love about um, the week at Northern Heritage is that session, the old time music session in the kitchen. Um, I just look forward to that so much. Um, and uh, so I was thinking about all of us squeezed in there with the Hobart machine, <laughs> trying to find a place where you can play and not be meeting up against the shower hose or, you know, the, the, the faucets or the at any rate, and so I decided I would make up uh, a tune in honor of those sessions. And I have named it, Shove That Dish Rack a Little Deeper in the Hobart. So um, here we go. And thanks, I'm really looking forward to the workshop. It's a joy to be with you all. And uh, thank you so much um, to the dedicated Board of Directors and a big shout out to Rose and Oliver for their technological wizardry. Thanks so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All the way from the West Coast, it sounds as though you're sitting right in the living room with me. We really appreciate your being here with us. So we have one more person, but before I just want to mention the tip jar. Now this tip jar is a donation and a slash tip jar. As I mentioned before, we're family at Northeast Heritage Music Camp, and as soon as this pandemic and lockdowns uh, hit, we were wondering how we can look after each other. You know, our faculty depend on this, the site depends on this, the caterers, we're all in this together, and we want to give back as much as we can to them. So if you can donate please donate to the tip jar, donation jar, and then we'll spread the money out to wherever we can. And it's much appreciated. So our final person, our final musician for the night is Jeremiah McLean on accordion. Multi-talented, like everyone else. I hope I'm unmuted. Am I unmuted? Yes, I'm unmuted. <laughs> And so, Jeremiah, in the green room, up uh, next. 
<laughs> Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks for doing this. And uh, I, uh, I think it's just been like I've been in Quebec for the last hour and a half listening to Jan and Lisa. Uh, yeah, I kind of just close my eyes and I can see and smell and feel myself in Quebec. And um, that's I, I'm going to just have you close your eyes if you like. That's what I do when I play. <laughs> Um, and I'll just play a whole bunch of tunes. I'll, I'll, they're, they're all French in uh, influence, certainly. Um, and I can, I'll tell you a little more about them after I play them. So uh, here we go.
So those were all um, those were all tunes that I that I wrote, um, and very much influenced by other uh, other people. First tune, um, the first tune I wrote, kind of like a French uh, mazurka. It's called Cerise, and uh, the second one is called Fanny Vanille, very much uh, influenced by Andy Cutting. The great English accordionist who plays French music. Uh, and then after that, I played a, a five four waltz. Um, I, I played it also last night, and that's a tune I wrote uh, this past Easter. And um, the man who really influenced me for that is uh, called Stéphane Delic. He was a fantastic uh, accordion player who played ball folk in, in the seventies and the eighties and the nineties. He, he died about ten years ago. Um, so I, I loved his style of play, and the last tune was a six four, a piece in six four, which was uh, it comes from the the, the northwest of France, Brittany. The the dance is a hunter dro, so that those tunes are all um, influenced by French music, and um, I guess tonight is French night, so I'll I'll, I'll play a, a tune that I wrote. It's actually probably the only tune that doesn't that has a maybe the French influences from from Louisiana, if anything at all. It's called Mule and Dove. <laughs>
Um, so I, I guess everything I'm going to play tonight is uh, is made up. Um, I guess if you know if if you know me that that the French uh, the French thing is not a surprise. Uh, I think we all when we play music sometimes we go we go to places in our head and the music takes us there. For sure, um, in my case, music takes me back a lot to the times I've lived in France. So I'm gonna play um, some some five four waltzes. That's that's something that's that's quite popular in, in Northern Europe now. So here are three five four waltzes, and um, I certainly en encourage anybody who has somebody to dance with. You can dance to these. Um, some friends of mine actually, uh, for their wedding anniversary, they made this great video of themselves in their kitchen, trying to do a five four waltz. So um, I also want to say uh, it's been it's been a, a, an experience to be part of this camp this year. And I think a lot of camps, um, you know, aren't doing anything this year at all. And it, I guess it would, might be easier to just sort of say, well, we'll see you next year, postponed. And instead, um, here we are doing this. And I think that's because this camp has this feeling that we, we're doing more than just creating music. We're creating a community. And I think it's really great. Like last night was really fun seeing everybody's faces there. And uh, I can't see you tonight. I can see Rose. I can see there's a few people here, but um, I just want to say hi to you all. Thanks for coming. Thanks for making camp great. All the people, the volunteers, certainly the board, the crew, the staff, and all the campers. Um, yeah, it's very special. So um, I'll, I'll finish up with um, these waltzes um, and send you off on your own evenings. Tomorrow at 11, uh, there's going to be a workshop playing slowly for accordionists. And um, yeah, that's a, that's, that'll be a fun challenge. I look forward to that. So I'll see you, some of you tomorrow morning. And, th and the, uh, these waltzes, the first one I recorded with Corey DeMario and Owen Marshall a number of years ago. It's called Camellia. And the second one I've recorded um, with Alex Keeler and Timothy Cummings. And um, that one's called Dahlia. Uh, and the last one is called Apple Knoll. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. See you, see you down the road.
Thanks, everyone. Uh, I'm, uh, that's the end of the first night of concerts here at Nahumka. And Cynthia, are you going to take it out with a, a few cheery words? Thank you, Jeremiah. I should rather say merci. It seems to be a night of French and Quebecois music and a little Hobart thrown in for good luck in the Humkaba, but truly, truly lovely. Jan, Lisa, Jeremiah, thank you. But wait, wait, there's more. We have another faculty concert tomorrow with Suniva Brunel, Katie McNally, Andy Davis, and David Surrett. And then there's Wednesday too, but you have to come tomorrow in order to learn who's coming, who's going to be playing for you Wednesday. And I just want to thank, I can't, I thank them enough, Oliver and Rose for making all this happen. There are tech kids, technical geniuses. You may not have known it, but there was a real panic at the beginning well, panic, we couldn't get connected, but Oliver and Rose just were calm, got us back on without missing a beat. So thank you, both of you. It's, it's just awesome to have you. So uh, here's the behind the scenes crowd of, the, of Jan Lisa, although she may have gone to her political meeting, Jeremiah Oliver, and Rose et moi. So thank you for coming. See you tomorrow night, 7.30. Don't forget the chip jar.